Hi friends, welcome to another edition of Equipping with KG Ajayi. I continue our installment on the revelation of Jesus. I personally consider this to be the most important subject matter as far as the Word of God is concerned. The reason is because the Bible tells us that the Lamb of God was slain from the foundation of the world. If the Lamb of God was slain from the foundation of the world, it implies that Jesus Christ, as the Lamb of God, died when man fell. So, the death on the cross is a manifestation of that which had happened many years before the time that we saw Jesus literally die on the cross. The revelation of Jesus is an all-important message. The reason is because today the church is built around many things other than the person of Jesus. Many times people come to church because they are looking for breakthroughs, either because they are looking for victories or they are looking for fruit of the womb. Not many people are in pursuit of a relationship with Jesus. Now, as God's people, it's important for us to know that Jesus did not only come so that we can have the goodies of life, Jesus came so that as extensions of him, we can advance the cause of God's kingdom on the face of the earth. I want to take a, a step further from where we stopped the last installment. Revelation chapter 1 from verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by an angel to his servant John. And I established there that the message Jesus brought to us was not given to him by himself. In other words, the message of Jesus is not self-inspired. The message of Jesus or the revelation of Jesus is authored by God the Father himself, given to Jesus, and Jesus signified it by the hands of an angel to his servant. When you get to verse 2, it says, Who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ? To all things that he saw. When you get to verse 9 also, you will see, John says in verse, one, verse 9, he says, I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island of Patmos, was on the island called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now today's lesson is this. Wherever the word of God is taught in truth, you cannot separate the word of God from the testimony of Jesus. Jesus is the center of everything that God is doing on the face of the earth. The church revolves around Jesus. His activities revolve around Jesus. Even the definitions of hell and the movement of the prince of the power of the air revolves around Jesus. Jesus said, I will build my church. The gate of hell will not prevail. The first time we see the machinery of the gate of hell mentioned in the New Testament was mentioned in relation to Jesus' revelation given to Peter by the Holy Spirit. And so, dear pastor, dear saints, what am I saying? You cannot have the teaching of God's word without the testimony of Jesus. So every message I preach, it has to be the testimony of Jesus. A testimony is a witnessing of that which I have encountered and I have experienced. So John said he was in the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Not because of the word of God alone, because actually the word of God is one and same as the testimony of Jesus. So today, what are you listening to and what are you preaching? Are you preaching the testimony of Jesus? Because understand, the revelation of Jesus is the secret, is the answer to everything that concerns humanity. And I'll continue from here very soon. Let me say this to you very critically. The church has no business on the face of the earth if it is not advancing the cause of the kingdom. The cause has no business concentrating on demons, concentrating on finances, to abdicating the responsibility of making Jesus known. This is our assignment and this is your assignment. Join me in the next installment of The Revelation of Jesus. God bless you.